Yeah, the last year really was a bit of a disappointment. Uh, we thought that the region and Europe had come out of the crisis and was going to uh, reinvigorate itself, and this really didn't happen. I think in a lot of indicators we saw that it was much harder to get back to the pre-crisis levels of growth. Uh, so we, we are still in a slow mode of recovery, and we're paying the price for the deep crisis that we experienced, both in the financial sector and in the real economy uh, in 2008 and 2009. I can see in the, the report you called it a new level. What's the yeah, new we're, level? We're talking about a new normal, uh, and we're trying to really think about what might the pro prosperity growth rate of the region look like in the future. If you look back, we had very strong support from both very solid labor productivity growth and very dynamic development on the labor market. Now as we look forward, both of these forces seem to be slowing down in a secular way. Uh, we are not getting any push anymore from the labor market and it's unlikely to see that as we move forward. And labor productivity growth is still positive, but it's somewhat slower than, we ha than we've seen it uh, in the pre-crisis level. So that means the Baltic Sea region is going to increase its prosperity, but not at the rate that we've seen before. Uh, the situation for Europe is even worse. Uh, also, North America and the U.S. has kind of dropped down, and it's not about the same level as the Baltic Sea region. So we've kind of stopped our convergence to the higher level of prosperity that we see in North America. So it's not all negative in this uh, area here? It's not all negative. Uh, we are still very competitive. Uh, we do, do still see convergence going on, so the poorer regions uh, parts of the regions are catching up. They're getting closer to our average standard of living. But we do see that the speed of growth is slowing down and I don't see many signs that this will change dramatically in the next couple of years.